Hey everybody, this is Steve Kuklo, IVB Pro, here with Allmax and VIPSupplementWarehouse.com, here with Boo Ritz. We've got a great story uh, about Boo that we're sponsoring Boo being um, an Allmax donated some product and VIP Supplement Warehouse, which I'm part owners of, we are also sponsoring him for his upcoming contest being in Texas State, which is in three weeks. So I'm going to ask Boo a little bit of the questions, and, and Boo is a unique athlete, and that's one of the things being part of uh, VIP Supplement Warehouse, which is founded by athletes and it's for athletes. And we, we sponsor a lot of local athletes that uh, have inspiring stories, people that inspire us as, as owners and athletes. And it's uh, Boo's got an incredible story and it's motivational. And even for myself, it, 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 there's days when, you know, you may feel like the contest prep sucks or life's hard or whatever, but until you hear somebody's story like, like Boo, you're gonna be, you know, thinking twice about complaining. So, Boo, tell us, uh, you know, you've been competing since 2013. You have your fourth show coming up. It's, you're three weeks out. You know, everybody knows the pain that goes into uh, contest prep with you know, dieting and feeling like crap and everything. But, you know, you have something that, you know, is another struggle that is part of your life on a daily basis. So tell us a little bit about, you know, what you deal with. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I was born with a uh, genetic disorder disease um, called cystic fibrosis. Uh, mainly with me, it affects the lungs. As you guys, I post a couple of videos on YouTube already about it. So as far as prep and everything goes, you know, um, I don't sleep much, you know, a lot of treatments during the day to keep you up at night. Um, in the gym, lung functions are, you know, around 48, 50%, so. So that's kind of like, yeah. most people don't know, that's about half your lung function, and that's kind of like breathing through a straw. So imagine, um, you know, trying to breathe, you're working out it, through a straw, it would not be easy. Yeah, absolutely, especially with, um, you know, a lot of lifts, um, like bent over rows, you use a lot of breathing in those, so some days those are harder, I'll have to miss some cardio, uh, Lou is very strict on me doing my cardio, so uh, it's not very, real high intensity. It's just a you know moderate pace, but even 30 minutes, you know, gets me coughing, and um, just with the lung functions being so low, I'm burning more calories actually than normal. So my calorie intakes are real high. Um, most competitors three weeks out are you know 100 grams of carbs. I'm at 600 grams plus sometimes. Uh, everything's a little bit different with me, you know, the diet, the working out. You know, one of the things I think you mentioned was, you know, diet-wise, uh, you know, proteins are hard to digest, or harder to digest, and, and you know, can't, certain things like creatine um, is it, hard on the kidneys, having some kidney problems, so, you know, that is one of the, another thing you face, you know, yeah. so it, 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 it's the balance. He's got to balance a whole, whole another level of things. Um, so I mean, especially with it being, like, what do you do specifically with your diet? I mean, you just you lower your protein. Obviously, your, your carbs are really high. Uh, with it being my fourth show, I've used you know my first show I did all on my own, um, and that's when I met Lou. I was actually you know up in the hotel room at the Ronnie Coleman 2013, and I'll never forget. I was sitting there, and he asked me you know what was I about to eat, and I looked at him like you know, nothing, because I was scared to eat, I didn't want to bloat, and he was like, dude, that's that's terrible, that's absolutely wrong, so from there on, you know, I started, you know, my next show, I did Europa a couple months later, used Lou, and it's all a learning process, you know, it's different for him, it's different for me, um, with the Phil Heat this year, I think we nailed it, you know, we figured out really high carbs, um, keeping the fats kind of low, proteins real high, um, and that, that's due to, you know, not digesting the proteins as much as normal. So you need a little more. So we add, yeah, yeah, we add a little more. We're in the 200s, you know, 250 with protein, which is pretty good yeah, for sure. prepping, you know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's a learning experience for me and also with Lou, you know. I, he's taking on a big role and putting his name, you know, under me. And uh, third place at the field heat, uh, I think. Like back in uh, March, yeah, March, and uh, you know we were talking about going straight to nationals, but we want to, you know, do better than third. So, so how old are you? I uh, just turned twenty six. Okay, yeah. Yeah. fairly young guy, uh, but that's that's a, incredible. So three weeks out. I mean, how do you feel now, being three weeks out? Do you feel like you know you're on track? And I mean, is there anything that changes the next few weeks of your training, or is it just 
pretty consistent. Well, uh, this morning pitchers went out for Lou. He's actually, you know, out of town right now. Uh, just about an hour ago, had a bunch of sushi. So, so we uh, had a cheap meal and hopefully fill them back out. Also, I'm off, you know, I've been on an antibiotic for a couple weeks, which has kept me real flat. Yeah. Um, and we're off that. So hopefully in the next, you know, week or two, we're before the show, we fill out pretty good. That's awesome. And diet, I mean, diet's going to probably stay the way it is till about show. Mm-hmm. And we'll probably what what is it about bodybuilding that it, it kind of draws you to it or... or that you know, you decided, you know what, I want to not just work out, but I want to get on stage. <laughs> oh man, uh, all growing up, you know, I was an athlete, always played hockey, my whole family's from up north. Um, baseball was my sport of choice, you know, it was what I was best at. But I mean, anybody watching this, you guys know I was the little guy. I was always, you know, five nine, hundred and twenty five pounds. And when you get up to high school level, you know, they kind of look past you, no matter right. what your skills are. You know, if I could throw faster than you, it didn't matter. I could hit so little. Mm-hmm. So baseball, you know, CF has kind of taken over a lot of things in my life that I didn't want to disappear. But once I lost, you know, after high school, I lost all the sports. Sure. And uh, I got addicted to weightlifting, you know, got a membership. And you just get addicted to that pump. Yeah. And there's no, there's no boundary. You know, you always want to get better and better and better, as you know, you know. So it's gotten to the point to where, you know, a friend, I think it started with a friend competing. And I told him like, you know, I bet you I'll beat you. You know, <laughs> friendly, let's get on stage together, friendly competition. And that's where it started, you know, Ronnie Coleman, 2013. The rest was history. And you know, four yeah. shows later, here we go, yeah. Yeah, three weeks out. And uh, I can tell I've seen, seen Boo run around the gym with his, uh, you know, tank top on, you can tell. Somebody's a tank top and looks good, they're, they're probably uh, pretty close to where they need to be. And he's, He's diced up, ready to go. Um, and then one of the awesome things, All Max Nutrition, my sponsor, we donated some product to Boo to, to help out this last few uh, few weeks of this prep. Uh, we got him some H ball, which is the pre workout. One of the things I like about H ball, there is no uh, no stimulants. So I'm not a big stimulant guy. Somebody like you that's taking up butyrol and, and yeah. can't sleep at night. Last thing you want to do is yeah. flood your system with uh, working out late. You know, yeah, I mean, exactly. And, and there's no um, there's no creatine in this drug. So somebody like who can't take creatine, you got everything else. You need a pre workout to get a good pump and get you through focus and everything without getting you know having some of the side effects of creatine, yeah. uh, loading or kidney issues. Uh, we got some protein to help you out. You know, if the, you know you're eating a lot of protein, and, and it's this, is the, this is the best flavor oh, that I think uh, the most popular is Flex. It's the, the peanut butter chocolate. Uh, that's a, simply amazing, especially when dieting. It even gets better. So, um, and then we have the carbine, which is a carb product, the key lime cherry. There's a lot of flavors. Uh, somebody like you that's eating a lot of carb and, and may not be able to choke down a, a, another bowl of rice yeah. or, or potato, you know, having something like carbine is really good around your workout. Well, right now, you know, intra workout, I'm doing 75 grams, so that's awesome. I'm chugging that stuff. Three scoops of that during yeah. his workout. Um, so I think for people out there, Boo is an incredible inspirational story, and we're honored to sponsor uh, Boo and help him out going into this, this show of his. and. As you can see, you know, there's a lot of support he's getting from All Max Nutrition, VIP Something Warehouse. We're all honored to have you, uh, you know, be part of the team, man. And, and I guess anything we can do to, to help you out is, you know, just where you ask us and seeing you in the gym, man, it's inspirational. So I thank you for your time. Thank you for being part of our team, man. And good luck in three weeks. Appreciate it. Thank you guys. Dr. Steve Kuklo, IVB Pro, here with Boo Ritz, knocking out three weeks out of Texas State. And uh, we'll see you guys soon.